When I go to the doctor, I can easily say whether I have chest pain or weight loss, but I always struggle with one question, my race. I have both Italian and Mapuche indigenous heritage, so how should I answer? Though human populations are incredibly diverse, there's actually very little overall genetic difference among us. These differences are distributed geographically and affected by environmental interactions and genetic mixing. Variations in physical differences, like skin color, occur gradually and do not organize neatly into groups. It wasn't until European colonization that false ideas about biological racial types emerged. Groups were divided arbitrarily, and because of this, race has shifted over time. But in the doctor's office, I have to check a box that can change my medical care. If I check Native American, I'm considered at risk for diabetes. Is that why I was screened even though I was perfectly healthy? And what if I just check white? What then? Race-based medicine hurts everyone, not just Jess. Clinicians should not rely on false notions of racial biology to recommend treatments, nor should we ignore the reality of race. Instead, we need race-conscious medicine that emphasizes racism as a determinant of health. First, we have to stop using race-based clinical practices. Jess should be screened for diabetes based on her symptoms, family history, and diet, not whether she identifies as indigenous. Second, we must teach clinicians that health inequities result from structural racism, not intrinsic racial difference. Indigenous people likely have higher rates of diabetes due to colonization, poverty, and subsidies that make processed foods cheap, not because of an indigenous gene. Third, we need clinical societies to pass resolutions that denounce race-based medicine. Finally, we need to ensure that research involving race carefully accounts for the effects of racism, rather than using race as a proxy for genetics. As anti-racist uprisings in COVID-19 have spotlighted how structural racism determines who lives and who dies, the medical field must dismantle its own racist practices.